God! Jano! No, I didn't remember the... <laughs> Holy shit! Alrighty, we finally got another epic rap battle. And I've been waiting for this one for a long time, as have we all. I'm really excited. Uh, first of all, my ritual for some of these others, uh, if this is the first time you watch one of my epic rap battles uh, reactions, I have certain traditions, right? There's a playlist. This will be part of that playlist, so you just have to click on the, the playlist or just go to my main page and look at the playlist, I guess. I've done about the most recent six, I think. And um, I also revisited season one because it had been like 10 years since I'd watched it at that point. It, it was pretty fun. My ritual is every time there's a killer line, I take a shot. An absolute, a Don DeMarco, an absolutely just ball busting, you just roasted this dude beyond the normal amount, right? Like that was just an utterly savage line. I pause the video and I take a shot. My record, I think, is seven shots. Seven shots in three and a half minutes. You may be, you may think that's nothing, dude. I had a hangover for two days. <laughs> I've been saving these. I've, th we've known this video is coming out for quite a while, right? So I've been saving these. These are two bottles of moonshine. This bottle is banana pudding flavored moonshine. And this bottle is butter pecan flavored moonshine. I haven't tried these. I've tried some other flavors. This one is kind of like a grape flavor. I'm not actually sure. It's got, oh, cherry. It's probably cherry flavor. There's some cherries floating in the bottle. I'll go to that if we run out, if there's too many shots. There should be three shots. This is a pretty large bottle, right? Let's, let's look at how many ounces of this. It says it's 50 mill milliliters. Unfortunately, I don't speak European, so I don't know what the hell a milliliter is. I don't know what the fuck that is as, as far as, like, ounces. So, no idea. But, anyway, there's probably three shots. So I'll, I'll try to make it three shots per bottle. We'll see. They've had enough time to perfect this battle. There should be a lot of these uh, savage blows. One more thing, as far as the matchup goes... Karl Marx, Karl Marx, obviously the father of socialism and communism, you could say. Henry Ford, father of capitalism. So they're diametrically opposed to each other. The two people in real life would have absolutely hated each other. They did cross paths, I believe. Marx died in 1883. Henry Ford was alive all the way to the mid-40s, I think, maybe a little bit past that. And he was old as well, so I think he was young when Marx was old. So they crossed over a little bit, but... They, but not when they were at their, the peak of the powers. Speaking of fathers, they were both fathers. Marx had seven kids. Three of them lived to be adulthood, so four of them died childhood. I feel like that, that's going to be referenced here at some point. And Ford only had one child, Edsel. You know, I, it's kind of funny that the, one of the worst cars ever made was named after his kid, but hey, you know, you know what are you going to do? And uh, Ford actually outlived his son. Edsel had taken charge of the company. And when his son suddenly died, he came back. But by then he was seen out and he was old. He died uh, in that office. But everybody was taking advantage of him at that point. So what I'm getting at here is I think there's things they're going to do as far as like how they're going to... Uh, vulnerabilities they can hit each other with. Okay. So you, uh, Marx can probably hit forward with the fact you only have one kid and outlived him. They both only married once. So they can't really talk about it like you've had seven weddings and you know, all that stuff. Although there was a rumor that Marx had, he had seven kids, like I said, stay with one woman, seven kids. There's a rumor he had another kid out of wedlock with his uh, housekeeper, right? It hasn't been substantiated. We don't know that for sure. But that's something that, you know, Ford could definitely go after. Let's see. Ford died of cancer. I do remember that. And Marx, I think he just died of old age. He was really old. You could probably hit him with the fact that his uh, manifesto, the I think it was a communist manifesto or something like that, um, wasn't published until 11 years after he died. That, that was really his masterpiece. And it wasn't, it, it was like, I think it was published in 1894 and he died in 1883. So you could maybe hit him with some ghostwriter stuff. I have really, this isn't my period of history. So I only have what little pieces I've cobbled together over my lifetime, right? Like, so... He may have had a ghostwriter. There may have been another reason. I can't remember why it took so long. But you, know, so you could hit him with that. You could, probably going to hit him with the fact only three of your seven kids lived. Eight, if we count the out of wedlock thing. I don't think either one of these vulnerable in marriage. And let me see. As far as elements go, um, apparently Marx had some kind of liver condition. And he had boils. And he had eye infections. And dude, his health was garbage, right? He also liked nicknames. Uh, he, liked, he would um, rent apartment buildings under different names. And even his kids would call him nicknames like uh, Old Nick, which, you know, is a reference to Satan, but I don't think he was going there with that. And what the hell, he had a, a pretty famous nickname he used 
for renting apartments. Uh, if they say it, I'll probably remember. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. But he had some kind of a nickname he used to rent an apartment. So he was going by pen names and stuff like that. So maybe you can see a bar where you're talking about that. But then, like, you know, I have a name that it still exists today and all that stuff. And Marx will probably hit him with the way cars are destroying the environment. So I try to, before starting, I try to anticipate what the most savage blows are going to be. But, you know, you can only do so much. But that, you know, I don't know too much. I don't, I'm not super familiar with either one of them. I, I think I have enough knowledge to get probably 40% of the bars. So, alrighty, let's go. I don't want to, just for the record, I don't want to break the record. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of redundant, I think about it. But anyway, that would be a terrible rap lyric. Um, I don't want to break the record seven shots. That almost killed me. But hey, we're going to do what we're going to do. I'm going to score it the way it is. Even if I have to take a nap in the middle of this reaction. So, all right, let's go. God, it's been a long time. I can't wait, man. Oh, by the way, obviously, the makeup effects are going to be phenomenal. Like, that's off the top, right? We don't even have to talk about that. Like, the makeup effects are going to be incredible. They're going to look like the characters. These are two of the biggest chameleon actors I've ever seen in my life. They're amazing. They're absolutely incredible. So, we know that's going to be good. We know the editing is going to be a top notch. And it's, the background compositing and all that stuff, we know that's going to be awesome. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> okay. Nothing too savage so far, but I think we have to respect... The fact that he's really called him out on how many people... Think about how many people have died because of this son of a bitch. And, you know, oh, another thing I just remembered. Uh, Marx, along with Nietzsche and Freud, is one of the fathers of sociology. Like, the, the, pra the practice and discipline of sociology. Those three people together, kind of like, you know, they... You know, people collect things from all of them and eventually form the, the principles and discipline of, of sociology. So that's a good thing you could say, you know. I mean, that, that helped the world. And, you know, I'm kind of like a fuck the government, fuck the establishment kind of person. So I'm kind of more on, on Marxist side. Uh, capitalism hasn't really served me well. I'm not rich by any means. I'm, you know, I'm pretty much on the breadline myself. So I guess I didn't predict who I thought was going to win. Uh, well, I've already said my bias is towards Marx. So I'm going to say Marx will win, but we'll see who actually wins. I'll give an unbiased at the, biased at the beginning, Marx will win. Unbiased at the be end will be whoever it is. But I do think that it's a pretty savage shot. By the way, look at that look on his face. <laughs> Wait, I should probably shake this. Pretty strong. What is the proof on these? Hmm, it doesn't say, but uh, this is the other moonshine I showed you is 40%, so that's probably what this is. Hmm. Delicious, but no kick at all. Does this have alcohol in it? Shit, I've been scared to do this. There was like no kick whatsoever. That's a little disappointing. But the taste is delicious. This one, by the way, was a butter pecan. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's another thing, too. He was broke. He was super broke. That's a, one of the, they were talking about like his health problems were because of how broke he was. So I, I should have thought about that. That's one way you can attack him. You broke-ass bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> God damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what it was. No, Das Capital was the first book he wrote while he was still alive. I think one of them, and then there was like a some manifesto. So it, was, it might have been a communist manifesto, something else manifesto. Yeah, I don't know enough. It, we could solve this with Google. I, I try not to Google this. I think that's cheating. Just go off your memory, but we could probably solve that with Google if we wanted to. So I'm not going to spend ten minutes debating it. Who takes advice from a broke slob? Wouldn't wipe my tailpipe with your desk. Crapital, your das crapital instead of das, uh, da, maybe I guess it'd be das, das K 
capital is <laughs> das capital. Okay, I'm going to take it. Since this is weak, I'll take another shot. That's pretty good. I mean, he's been hitting me pretty good, you know. This one is the other one. This is uh, the banana pudding. Oh, that is a little bit more of a kick. And it's also delicious. Man, I would drink these straight. I don't drink anything straight. I would drink these straight. <laughs> oh, shit. God. Daniel. No, I didn't remember the... <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. I knew he had seven kids before him died. I didn't realize he kept naming them Jenny. Holy fuck, man. That is savage as fuck. All right. We want to see a real reaction. This is a reaction too. Let's get a reaction. So I'm going to, I know this will give me a reaction because this is a strong proof. So let's do this one because that deserves it. My God, that is bad. <coughs> Holy shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, this should be a little bit more punishing than it's been so far. I don't want that. If I was ever just going to drink anything straight, it'd be these two, man. The, it's an old smoky brand, in case you're wondering. Wow. Uh, we're 50 seconds in. I don't know if I'm going to make this one. <laughs> Can we talk about the acting here, by the way? I know their actors are amazing. We, we know that, right? Look at him happy here, and then his face just completely changes when we get to the next line. Dude, is, he's fucking awesome. And, like, I know they meticulously edit these, and they they do, like, 25 million takes of everything, I'm sure, right? But still, I just, I like that. <laughs> he was drinking, boy. That's another thing I forgot to mention. He was a heavy drinker. He started drinking in 1833 and didn't die until 1880. That motherfucker drank for 50 years. He was part of a drinking club or some shit, right? A drinking society, a drinking club or something. 50 years of hard drinking. <laughs> oh, shit. Hitler dropped his name in Mein Kampf, huh? Ford? Henry Ford. I think that's worth one. I guess we're going to have two, two categories here, right? We're going to have, that was a bar category since it's so weak. And then we'll have the punishing, wow, you're a fucking savage uh, drink. So now I can, with these two levels of uh, punishment, I can do two levels of bars now. Okay. Yeah, this is a regular bar. <laughs> oh, it's starting to hit now. <laughs> Maybe it's something you have immunity to the first shot, and then after that, you're fucked. <laughs> like I said, I might not make this one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> was was Ford illiterate? That's pretty good. <laughs> God damn! Holy shit! I didn't know that shit. His sibling killed his mother. That's some shit to drag out, man. Holy shit. That's a, a regular. So, at this point, we'll have one big to two smalls for Ford and one big one small for Marks. been over years since I've done this. I forgot that about this point in it, I start holding it in my mouth and being afraid to swallow. That's what I just did there. Yes, I don't want the pain that happens when I swallow. <laughs> That's a good rebuttal, by the way. My philosophy didn't uh, cause mass graves greed did. That's a really good rebuttal. That's right. You learned it, motherfucker. <laughs> Killing you, just like that. 
Jesus. <laughs> that, that's a that's a pretty cheesy line, Brazil nuts. But everything else is awesome, right? Of course, the Model T sucked. Lack of style. Do what your first car can't back up. That's a pretty good one. Okay, so we're gonna be tied one dash two to one dash two. I've actually heard that <laughs> his first car could back, could go in reverse, which feels like a major flaw, you know. <laughs> you stink. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh shit! Not the dick boils. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I thought the boils would be on his ass or legs, man. But yeah, too much info. So 1.3 versus 1.2 so far. This somebody said I mass producing abuse. Wow, dude. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Take your bourgeois pig shit back to it. Not only for this one, but I'm also going to give him credit for what he's doing to it before. Because he's just, it's a steady assault. Some of these, it's like, yeah, you know, yeah, that's all right. You know, he's setting up, set up, set up. No, this has been a steady assault, man. He's, he's So far, Ford is kicking his ass. Just absolutely, you know, stomping him out. I thought that was coming back up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, holy shit. So that's uh, 2.3 versus 1.2. God damn, man. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a fucking good one. So yeah, we're so now it's gonna be two point three versus two point two. That just automatic off the top, man. It's very first bar. <laughs> yeah. God damn, boy. <laughs> Holy shit, man. That's ugly. That's ugly. I'm just going to... This is, wasn't playing this way. I'm going to have to tie him up, man. I'm going to have to tie him up, man, because... They're, at, they're, they're tied at 2.3. Next one wins, I assume, because we don't have much time left. I think I can give another shout out of this one. Just in case we need a tiebreaker. <laughs> this is fucked up. Now you're Great Lake State. Ain't exactly a great site. You were worse for Michigan than the Flint water. Flint's water pipes. Wow, that's ugly. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that means. I wish I knew what the reference was. It'd probably be a savage bird. It's just funny. It's funny as a line, right? <laughs> oh shit. 
that's a really good point. He is a fucking hypocrite. He is a hypocrite, isn't he? Oh, shit, is that true? I'm going to assume it is. They don't tell lies on this channel. They do not tell lies. They're like uh, Washington that way, right? Yeah, man. What's up? Cop ca capitalism's all right when you're the one sucking off the capitalist tit, isn't it? <clears throat> all right, he's at uh, 2.4. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Okay, so yeah, I think he's gonna finish. I don't think he's gonna have another round after this. Although we still have a full minute left. Would they really have four rounds? They, I don't think we've ever seen four rounds. We've only seen three at the most. Most of them only get two. But this just also just the, the interactions between two characters is also better. But yeah, this one, yeah, assuming he doesn't get another round, he's finished with 2.4, which is pretty good, right? Like That's uh, five, six shots. That's six shots. Fortunately, some of them don't kill me. <laughs> that's not a good rebuttal, man. Oh, shit. God damn. Hold on, I need to hear that one again, man. So far, his rebuttal uh, didn't do anything for me. And I don't know about him pawning in his own pants. So that doesn't mean anything either. So, um, but this one seems pretty fucking savage. Oh, shit. Jesus. No, nah, man, he's got to get one for That's a big boy shot right there. He, that, that was vicious. Oh, Jesus. They pretty much have hit everything I thought they would hit. And they brought up shit, of course, I didn't know. Like I said, I'm no expert here. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's... I knew they were hitting there. bar, man. God damn. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, well, um, I can't do any more. I don't want to do I want to do a small shot. So what do I have this small shot? Well, I've got some Evan Williams peach that's 33%. This should be okay. Let's do this as a small shot. Yeah, that's not going to kill me. Wow, that tastes a lot like peach. I know that sounds ridiculous, but a lot of times alcohol don't say it doesn't taste like what it says it does. So this puts us at 2.5 or 2.4 versus 3.5. Henry better have another line. Jesus, I can't talk anymore. Henry better have another verse. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. <laughs> God damn, man. Come on, dude. He's already dead. Leave him alone. Fuck. This somebody said, this battle's been a blowout. Like that hemorrhage in your head. Fucking hell, man. You're killing him. So what does this make? 2.5 versus 3.6? <clears throat> this actually has a really good taste. I bet it's pretty good over at, over just ice, you know. Oh shit, it's starting to kick in, man. Oh boy. I've still got fifty two seconds left. Hopefully there's nothing else funny. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that was good, man. Oh, yeah. Obviously, Carl won. Right? He, he dominated. 2.4 versus 3.6. He kicked that ass. 
What do you think? Who do you think won? 